Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I am excited about tonight. Long story short, someone built an amazing website where patrons can go on and request movies. It keeps track of all the requests from the most requested down to the least. I put the numbers one through 50 in a bowl. I picked out six and we had a poll. One of the closest polls we have ever had on Patreon, Superman barely by just a few votes beat Gran Torino. So I am watching Superman the movie 1978. A lot of patrons recommended that I watch The Adventures of Superman. So I watched one episode, it was black and white. It looked very cheesy in like a cute way actually. The guy was actually pretty cute. Just to basically show me that this is what we were watching at that time. You may know that Carly and I have a now infamous reaction to Batman 89 and we disliked it to say the least. Not a popular opinion. <laughs> Kind of got roasted a bit on Patreon, so I was too scared to post it to YouTube. I'm a chicken. I have to put myself back in 1978 before MCU special effects, before the Dark Knight trilogy, before Batman 89. This is 78, which is crazy. I know this is Christopher Reeves. I know he's since passed, which is super sad, but I'm excited to see him as... It's a bird! It's a plane! Superman! I've never seen any Superman movies. Smallville, some of it. I also saw a Superman TV show my dad used to watch on TV sometimes, and it was the like lady from Desperate Housewives with Lois Lane. That's all I remember. And Luther was bald, I think. Is he always bald? I don't know. Okay, let's watch Man of Steel. Here we go. So what I wanted to say about the adventures of Superman as well, I was expecting it to be worse, actually. Like that first scene of the episode I watched, he comes in and like bends the bars. And I'm like, hey, that's pretty good. Like that looks pretty real. <laughs> but like him flying just looked like someone had an action figure going like this and filming it. <laughs> In the decade of the 1930s, the worldwide depression, the job of informing the public is a responsibility of the Daily Planet, a symbol of hope for the city of Metropolis. Remember newspapers? Good times. Marlon Brando. Gene Hackman? Wait a second. Is Gene Hackman still alive? I'm getting Star Wars vibes. Da, 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 da. This is the best tasting pop. Dr. Pepper cream soda, zero. Like I always love Diet Coke the most. I like need Diet Coke, it's like water. <laughs> but that is so tasty. Wow, there's a lot of these. <laughs> John Williams did this music too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Save it for the credits. Nope, okay. This is no fantasy. These are matters of undeniable fact. We're on another planet, correct? Oh, I okay. ask you now to pronounce judgment. What are the floating heads? Guilty. 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 The vote must be unanimous, Laura. Yours could become an important voice in the new order. I offer you a chance for greatness, Jarrell. Join us! Who's Jarrell? Why does he have the Superman jersey on? You will bow down before me! And then one day, your ass! That's a bit strange. You cannot ignore these facts. Ooh. I tell you that we must evacuate this planet immediately. They're so glowy. Krypton is simply shifting its orbit. The decision of the council is final. Any attempt by you to create a climate of fear and panic must be deemed by us an act of insurrection. Have you finished? Nearly. They're like angels. If he remains here with us, he will die as surely as we will. But why Earth? They're primitives, thousands of years behind us. Their atmosphere will sustain him. He's got a baby Superman outfit. His dense molecular structure will make him strong. He'll be odd. He'll be fast. Virtually invulnerable. Alone. He 
He will not be alone. Why don't they just go with him? They can't insurrect him if he's dead. We will never leave you, even in the face of our death. All that I have, all that I've learned, everything I feel, I bequeath you, my son. See my life through your eyes. This is kind of tender. Your life will be seen through mine. Hello. Hello? Should they maybe give him some clothes for the trip? <laughs> Who's right now board of directors or whatever they are? <laughs> Is this a glass planet or a crystal planet? Oh my gosh. Embedded in the crystal is the total accumulation of all literature and scientific fact from dozens of other worlds. He gets all that? He's growing up in the star crystal ship? It is forbidden for you to interfere with human history. He's just been like chilling in there for six years or something, however old he is. Yeah! Look at that cutie pie farmer truck. I oh, wouldn't that beat all get out? I already <laughs> like them. Pray the good Lord see fit to give us a child. Martha, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? <laughs> Clark, let's have all those clothes washed and ready for tomorrow's game, yes, okay? Lana, don't bother with these, huh? Thank you, Clark. A whole bunch of us are going up to Mary Ellen's, play some records. <laughs> Would you like to come? Sure. Ken can't make it. We've got a lot of work to do. Oh, Brad. Come on, let's go. Clean right. this up, Clark. Oh, Brad. Why can't he play football? He'd probably be amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I mean... It's just insane. Like, okay, Gene Hackman's in this somewhere. So in his lifetime, the progress they've made and what they can do in movies is unbelievable. Right? Did people, when they saw this, say, How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Ran, huh? Did they say, like, this is amazing. Could it get any better? I didn't mean to show off, huh? Yeah, I know. You can do all these amazing things. You will just go bust unless you can tell people about it. I mean, every time I get the football, I can make a touchdown. <laughs> is it showing off and somebody's doing the things he's capable of doing? No. It's a bird showing off when it flies. We thought that people would come and take you away. I worried us a lot. I really like this sweet dad. There's one thing I do know son and that is you are here for a reason it's not to score touchdowns Jonathan! oh my gosh all those things i can do all those powers and i couldn't even save him at least they had a really sweet talk before he passed. He was there for a reason. Ah, jeez. This looks like Alberta. I have to leave. I knew this time would come. Why? Why does he have to leave? Mother. I'm nurse. Do you know where you're headed? North. Always remember. Is he going to space? Or the Daily Planet? <laughs> I'm just thinking about him running by the chain. <laughs> So 
ice castle. Do you wanna build? <laughs> Just kidding. That's pretty cool. You do not remember me. I'm Jorel. Jorel. I'm your father. I keep wanting to say Ja Rule. <laughs> There are questions to be asked. In this fortress of solitude, we shall try to find the answers together. Who am I? You are the only survivor of the planet Krypton. Is this a recording, or can they talk back and forth? Come with me now, my son, traveling through time and space. Planet Krypton, your home, as it was. I thought Superman was allergic to Krypton. That's a thing, right? Kryptonite. Kryptonite. By the time we return to the confines of your galaxy, 12 of your years will have passed. He's been in that ice castle for 12 Earth years? He hasn't talked to his mom in 12 Earth years? For this reason, above all, their capacity for good, I have sent them you, my only son. He can fly! He can fly, he can fly, he can fly. He can fly. Miss Lane? Oh, so this is Lois Lane. How can you get all the great stories? A good reporter doesn't get great stories, Jimmy. A good reporter makes, makes them great. great. Oh, Miss Lane, how are you? Jimmy Olsen, photographer. Okay, nice to meet you. I think that is how I imagined Superman to look. Can you open this? Making sense of senseless killings by Lois Lane. Oh, the Daily Planet has a suspicion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Olsen, go get Mr. Kent. No, Let's right. And make mine black and no sugar. Right, He's Chief. cute. And don't call me sugar. Right, Chief. Sure. Perhaps you could arrange for half my salary to be sent to this address on a weekly basis. Don't tell me. He sends a check every week to his sweet gray-haired old mother. Actually, she's silver-haired. He's uh, so cute. Thank you very much. And polite. Any more at home like you? Not really, no. I didn't think so. Get yourself a desk over here. <laughs> Sorry. Is he doing that on purpose? Not being able to open the pop, being a little klutzy. How'd you like your first day on the job? Not at all. I'd say it's been swell. Swell? I'm sorry. Oh. Jimmy Olsen was fantastic. Hey, come on, come on. <gasps> Hurry up. Don't do anything. Oh, hurt I'll get that. Just a minute, mister. Just a minute now, mister. Now, come on, lady. Hand it over. Do a move. Hey, maybe you better. Are you all right, Clark? Golly, I guess I must have fainted. Go ahead. Okay. Is it worth risking your life with your $10, two credit cards, a hairbrush, and a lipstick? You just described the exact contents of my purse. Wild guess. It's gotta be now. Maybe lead us to the big man himself. Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. Mexican the crime of the century. Gene Hackman. I love him as the replacements coach the most. The greatest criminal mind of our time. Fiendishly gifted. Try twist it. Tell me Hello. Something. Why do so many people have to die for the crime of the century? Why is the most brilliantly diabolical leader of our time surrounding himself? A total nincompoops. We found it again. I love how she's just like the... Yeah. I love him. Can Look I at his cute suit. Well, so maybe you'd like to have a little dinner with me. Air Force One's landing at the airport. Don't you ever let up? Before. I like her. Can I uh, take you to the airport? Not unless you can fly. I'm Clark. Hmm? Ladies. Clark. Well, hey, Lois, maybe we can get... He's adorable. We have Miss Lane here for a quick ride to Metropolis Airport. Mind you, we're on our way. Something bad's gonna happen, right? Oh, no. Oh, this is my nightmare. Oh. Oh my. Oh. 
Oh my gosh! What's he doing? Why is he leaving? That's a bad is this the first time the world's seen Superman? Oh no. I certainly hope this little incident hasn't put um, you off flying, miss. Statistically speaking, it's still the safest way to travel. Right. Right. Who are you? A friend. Um, why can't she see that he's Clark? Is this that guy from the subway? Nope. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the elevator. Going down. Nah. Take him away. <laughs> Friendly neighborhood Superman. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Bad vibrations? I swear, fly in. Like a big flooper with bright red boots. Go back to yeah. Murphy's bar and continue what you started. But didn't everyone see him on the news saving Lois? Hey, Bruce, can we get down from there? I'll get him. Come on. Here you go, miss. Gee, thanks, mister. Oh, now. This is Air Force One. We have the latest weather report. Bruce is gone. Shut down on the one. Why is there so many pilots? I guess Air Force One. Okay, I'm getting that this is the same night as he just saved Lois because she was going to go see Air Force One. I knew it! There he is on the news. I want the name of this flying whatchamacallit to go with the Daily Planet like bacon and egg. I don't think that he would lend himself to any cheap promotion schemes. Exactly how would you know that, Ken? Just a first impression. They look the same. I want the inside dope on this guy. What is the S? Why are they your place? That's what he said to her after he rescued her. Where does he come from? Does he have a girlfriend? The single most important interview since God talked to Moses. <laughs> so how come Superman came to work for the Daily Planet? So he could scope out what the news has on him? Or because he likes writing? Eight oh, she's Eight stressed up. Cinderella bites the dust. Good evening, Miss Lane. Hi. Did you have plans this evening? There's no trouble at all no. for you to come back later. Don't move! Just don't fly away, all right? Uh, you really shouldn't smoke, you know, Miss Lane. Don't tell me you want cancer, right? Right. Not yet, thank goodness. Would you like a glass of wine? Uh, no, no thanks. I never drink when I fly. Should we get started with the interview? He's so smooth and charming as Superman. Oh. Do you have a girlfriend? If I did, Miss Lane, you'd be the first to know about it. Oh. How old are you? Over 21. And how big are you? How tall are you? Uh, about 6'4". The rest of your bodily functions are normal? Sorry, I beg your pardon? Well, putting it delicately, mm -hmm. do you eat? Yeah, yes, I do. Of course you do. <laughs> Is it? True that uh, this is you cute. Can see through anything. What kind of underwear am I wearing? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I embarrassed you, didn't I? Not at all, Miss Lane. It's just that this platter must be made of lead. I sort of have a problem seeing through lead. Oh, that's interesting. Pink. Pink. Sorry, Miss Lane. I didn't mean to embarrass you. You didn't embarrass me. Um, where do you hail from? I come from a planet called Krypton. He's just. He's allowed to tell them? Do you like pink? I like pink very much, Lois. Why are you here? I'm here to fight for truth and justice in the American way. You're gonna end up fighting every elected official in this country. I don't believe this. Lois? Hmm? I never lie. Just how fast you fly. She needs to, like, take a picture of them together. Why don't we find out? Or else anyone could just make up this interview, right? Ready? Clark said that you're just a figment of somebody's imagination, like Peter Pan. Who's that, your boyfriend? Peter Pan flew with children, Lois. He's having fun with time. this. <laughs> <laughs> the flying actually looks really good. I've got goosebumps. This is so cute. 
I can show you. No. Wow. They do look like a fairy tale. <laughs> Whoa. Can you read my mind? Do you know what it is that you do to me? He can read minds? I don't know who you are. Just a friend from another star. Here I am, like a kid out of school, holding hands with a god. I'm a fool. I don't get this. Why is she rhyming? Saying a poem in her head? You can fly. You belong in the sky. If you need a friend, I'm the one to fly to. If you need to be loved, here I am. Read my mind. Oh, smooth landing. Oh, we forgot to time ourselves. Maybe next time. Oh. Good night. Oh, good night! What a Superman. <laughs> Superman! Superman! So they didn't take a picture to prove this. Didn't he already have the S? Wouldn't he already be called Superman? Or was that for something uh, else? Hi. Can I come in? Oh, yeah. We uh, did, did have a date tonight, remember? Oh. You haven't been, uh... Oh, no. Well, I certainly hope not. Well, let's, uh, push off. I kind of love him more as Clark Kent. There's something I have to tell you. I'm really... I mean, I, I was nervous about tonight, but then I decided, darn it, I was going to show you the time in your life. That's Clark, nice. Why didn't he tell her? It's amazing. Amazing! Too good to be true. He's six foot four, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, and tells the truth. Some people can read War and Peace and come away thinking it's a simple adventure story. Others can read the ingredients on a chewing gum wrapper and unlock the secrets of the universe. What has chewing gum got to do with the secrets of the universe? And you want M, Mr. Luthor? <laughs> there you go, M. This is like cartoony, this part, like the villain. The... exploded in 1948. Some of those particles drifted to Earth. Meteorite! Yeah, well... Radioactivity is so hot that anyone from the planet Krypton will. But isn't kill that from him. his own planet? He can't see through lead. And oh. Kryptonite will destroy him. He gave too much away. And why are we destroying him? I wonder what they're wearing in Addis Ababa. Are we going to Addis Ababa? Mr. Luthor? Go ahead. Everything looks good. Just a missile on the highway? His hair. <gasps> They're stealing a giant missile. He's having trouble breathing, sir. Well, I suggest vigorous chest massage, mouth to mouth. Yes, sir. Sergeant, I won't have one of my men doing anything I wouldn't be prepared to do myself. Yeah, but sir, in an ambulance. Oh, no, we're not driving the missile away. We're. <laughs> the Hawaiian shirt and overalls are a vibe. I'm in. And a third one, two, one hundred seventeen. Third one was supposed to be eleven, and the fourth one seven. Oh, no, 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 no. Get it right. How did they get a house on wheels so quick? I'm not quite sure I get the evil plan. Why? Has anybody seen Lois anywhere around today? You're blocking the said Clark. Sorry, Gil. Sorry, Gil. <laughs> She's out west looking into a land fraud deal. Some clown out there is buying up thousands of acres of worthless desert at incredible prices. Golly, that doesn't seem to make sense. I've been in this news game 40 years. Well, I was for boy 10 years ago. <laughs> Only one thing alive with less than four legs can hear this frequency. Oh. <gasps> and that's you. In approximately five minutes of poison gas, we release two thousands of air ducts in the city. Where do you get that blue suit? How else was I going to meet you, Superman? You'd never accept an invitation to tea. From a villain? Oh. Oh. Who needs a phone booth? Poisonous gas releasing into air ducts, or what? There's a strong streak of good in you, Superman, but then nobody's perfect. Or is he just saying that so he'll come and then he can use the kryptonite? Everyone stand back, please. That's what you're worried about. I think he's coming, Mr. Luthor. It's open. Come in. Otis, take the gentleman's cape. 
I don't think he wants me to, Mr. Luthor. All right, Luthor, where's the gas pellet? It's in the back of my mind, actually. Oh, I knew it. He was lying. Is that how a warp brain like yours gets its kicks? Planning the death of innocent people? No, by causing the death of innocent people. They say very heavy into real estate. Who's funding this? Everything west of this line is the richest, most expensive real estate in the world. Everything on this side of the line, worthless desert land. The 500 megaton bomb planted at just a proper point. I get it. This is his game. The west coast as we know it would fall into the sea. Hello, new west coast, my west coast. Otisburg? It's a little bitty place. Otisburg? Okay, I just wipe it off. Target zero. Here. Why is he telling... Superman's got to stop a missile. What do you think, Soup Baby? Interesting? <laughs> well, your theory is quite impressive, Luthor. Soup Baby? It's happening. Even you couldn't stop both of them. Well, I could stop them with my detonator. You really think you could hide it from me by encasing it in lead? <laughs> That's kryptonite, Superman. I've spared no expense to make you feel right at home. Besides the hair, he actually looks the same as he did in... Oh, he was mm -hmm. also in. Even care where are the other missiles headed? Do I'm you? forgiven. I know exactly where it's headed. Hackensack, New Jersey. Hackensack? Oh. My mother lives in Hackensack. Even if he got right out right now, he couldn't get the missiles, right? Miss Why does everyone call her Miss Tess Walker? Please help me to save them. Did you promise to save my mother first? And Laura, sir, Jimmy. If you promised me, I'd believe you because you always tell the truth. I promise. I promise. Miss Tess Walker coming through. I can't tell if she's like 35 or 60 in a weird way. Why did you kiss me first? I didn't think you'd let me later. Why is it I can't get it on with a good guy? <laughs> get it on. Stand aside now. He can cash up to it. There's two. Oh, that's the plan. It did hit San Andreas? Oh. oh my. Superman has a lot of problems to fix. <gasps> Reforming the rock so it can't shake anymore. Okay, okay, I'll take it. Okay, kids, it's Superman. Now the train. Have to do this with like models. Like that looks really good. Stay safe here, son. That's okay. Miss Lana will be driving by any minute. Oh, the hill. oh, she's falling into a vault line. Okay, that's actually horrifying. Oh. I can tell that's a model. By golly, it worked. <laughs> Faster! True love's kiss. I don't accept this. Give her CPR. She's 
He doesn't look very good, though. She can't really have died, right? Oh my gosh! You are here for a reason. One of those things I can do, but I couldn't even save him. Is he reversing time? Yes, he is. Eat your heart out, MCU. Superman did it first. The Doctor Strange. Hi. Don't bother, I think it's dead. Sure, it's dead. The problem with Man of Steel, there's never one around when you want one. I was almost in an earthquake. I had telephone poles falling all over the road. I'm sorry about that, Lois, but I've been kind of busy for a while. Just saving the world. It's no big. Thanks a lot, Superman. It's been on a road in the middle of nowhere during an earthquake. Where are you going to go? Listen, there's something I have to do. I'll see you later. It's too bad Mr. Kent wasn't here to see all this. Never around when... Lois Lane, that is the silliest idea you've ever had. He really cares about you. He is you. so cute. Clark, of course he does. Oh, not Clark. Superman cares about everybody, Jimmy. Who knows, someday, you know, if he's lucky. Did he already save the rest of the Earth and the flood and the everything? I think these two men should be safe here with you now so they can get a fair trial. Who is it, <gasps> Superman? Lex <gasps> Luthor! He is bald. This country is safe again, Superman, thanks to you. We're all part of the same team. I okay, but he was forbidden to interfere. There has to be consequences to that, right? Is there a sequel? Dun da da! <laughs> Okay, I read some comments when this won the poll about people's experiences when they saw this in the theater. And someone said it was the most magical experience they've ever had. They saw it when it first came out. They were like 12 years old. And they said, I thought I saw the real Superman. And it almost like makes me like teary to think about that movie experience for so many people, especially like kids. I'm trying to put myself in that situation. It really would have just been magical. I did not think he would be that cute either, but he was so cute. <laughs> and with their cheesiness, like... <laughs> and like Lex Luthor with his like polka dot yellow suit. The running. I'm never gonna get over the running. <laughs> Yes, there was cheesiness, and I can't tell you why the cheesiness of the villain and the bad guys bothered me so much in Batman 89, but didn't really bother me in this, and maybe because I was expecting it a bit more. I never once wished, like, yeah, let's get going with this movie. I didn't want it to end. I actually want to see more. He just had, like, such a presence on screen, and... I actually love him as Clark Kent, and I want Lois to love him as Clark Kent. Like, if you don't love me as Clark Kent, you don't get to love me as Superman. Know what I mean? It's crazy to see how every superhero movie that I've seen, that was much later on, that it has pulled ideas and themes and stuff from this film. So, that was kind of cool. I get to like see the origin story of the superheroes. Like I said, I feel like there has to be more to the story because he interfered with human history. And I feel like there's gonna be consequences for that. And we didn't even get to see a kiss, a real kiss, a conscious kiss from Lois and Superman. So I need to see that. Okay, thank you so much for watching with me. I will see you again soon.